Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. I said that weird. <laughs> welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Um, as you notice, I didn't put out a video last week because I, well, the Sunday, I think it was the 11th, I started getting sick. I, I did put out a crochet and talk that morning, and I was already starting to get sick, and then I ended up, later that day, I got really sick, and I ended up having strep throat. So I was sick with it all that week, and then by the time I started getting better, Jesse got, um, strep throat. So, um, I had to deal with that. <laughs> and it was, it was a lot, because I've never had strep throat before in my life, and it was rough. I never, I didn't, blah, 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 he talked. I never knew how bad, um, it could get, the, like, the sickness. Like, I always just thought strep throat was, like, throat. I didn't realize it was, like, flu-like symptoms. I mean, I thought I had the flu. Um, because I've never had strep throat. I've never, ever tested positive for it. Jesse didn't actually test positive for it, but he had all the symptoms, so I don't know if they just didn't swab him in the right spot because he fought them, <laughs> or if he didn't have it, if he just had, like, a precursor to it or something. But anyways, we were both finally better. Um, Jesse just started eating good again a couple of days ago, and I got better before him, but then I was taking care of him, so I had planned to, you know, film a video last week, like normal, and I was going to make some more crocheting talks, but that interrupted it so that is why uh, I've been kind of MIA the last week and a half ish two weeks I can't even remember this week and a half I think <laughs> but uh, I'm back we're better so I will be filming some more videos I've already got some plans to film some more crocheting talks because I really enjoy those and a lot of y'all enjoy them but um, if you're a member of the Facebook group which will be linked below <clears throat> you'll already know because <laughs> I was posting on there uh, while I was sick and you know explaining so I didn't get a lot of crochet done while I was sick, obviously, like, I went, I think, five days straight without crocheting, which is really weird for me, but I did get some stuff done before that and after it since, so I do have some finished objects and some whips, but, um, let's see here, one of my whips is one from before, and then two are two new whips, and then there's one I haven't started yet, which is... Terry at the Yarn Joy podcast, her crochet along, which is the uh, Christmas pixel square thing. Uh, I got all the yarn for it. I just haven't got around to starting it. <laughs> I'm going to try to tomorrow if Jesse goes to his grandparents. I'm going to try to uh, start it and finish it this weekend. Jesse's napping. He just fell asleep and I came in here to film real fast while he's sleeping. Because um, he's better, but he's still kind of He's a toddler, so he's still kind of grumpy. <laughs> but he's just, you know, that's just him. He's just a grumpy kid. <laughs> uh, ever since, like, the last couple of months, he's really been in his terrible twos, I think. But anyways, y'all know why I wasn't here. So I do want to welcome all the new people, and welcome back to all the original people. And um, I'm 700 some subscribers right now, which is crazy. I can't remember exactly. And so I'm inching up towards 1,000, which is really cool. And I do plan on having my giveaway soon, just this whole being sick um, threw it off. I do have all the stuff for it. I think I have all the stuff for it. Pretty much everything. Uh, and there will be a pattern that was given to me to give away. And then I think I might offer another pattern also to the person who wins. Um, so I will be making a video probably this weekend. So it will be out next week sometime. The giveaway will start and I think I will let it run for a couple weeks to give, time, give everybody enough time to to enter it <laughs> but um so that will be coming up and what else is there any other announcements i don't think there's anything else that i need to talk about yeah i can't think of anything if i do i'll say it later my hair probably looks crazy because i was in there laying with jesse trying to get him to sleep so um and our balloons our valentine's day balloon is still floating and that's another one my mom got jesse a couple weeks ago anyways let's just hop on into finished objects Pretty sure I showed this last week, or the week before last. I think I showed this too. Oh, his nose is not pointed right there. Uh, it's just a zero lovey, but he was in my finished object box, which oh, I was looking for it, and you're setting on it. I put the camera on it, or the phone. <laughs> but uh, all right, the first one is another zero, but it's a littler zero. His pattern is the pattern is called uh, J Man and Pup because you know it's, it's copyright written you know Jack Skellington and zero you can't really say that because it's copywritten but um 
and I don't think this pattern's available anymore. She, the designer, their rivalry name is FD by K4TT, <laughs> which it'll be linked below. I don't exactly know their actual name, but um, they gave it away. I know I got it, and I think Randy got it because I messaged her when I saw that they were giving it away. It was months ago, I think December or January. Um, the pattern, and it, it was zero, and it comes with a little Jack Skellington. But now the pattern's unavailable, so I guess it was just for the giveaway. And um, I just thought he was cute. He does stand up. I don't know if he will. Yeah. And uh, I didn't put anything in the bottom of him. In retrospect, I should have put something down there to help him stand up because he is a little top heavy. But he will stand. I'm planning on making a few more of these for that thing in April, which is almost April. I mean, like next weekend, a week from now is <laughs> uh, April. I need to get that going because that thing that I'm going to be doing is April, I think the 23rd or something like that. Yeah. But I just thought he was cute. And he's just made with Red Heart Super Saver White, Black, and Hot Red or Red Hot. And he's just got fiber filling in them. Let's see here. I think he made it with Elf Hook. I think the pattern called for a smaller one and I, I just, I like Elf Hooks. It's like, no good size for me. But I think he's cute. So I'm going to make a few more of those to put on that. And I do plan on making a couple more of these to take there. I don't know if they'll do any good. I don't know if I'll sell anything. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But uh, I know last year the only crocheter that was there was a woman who made, uh, she had a bunch of baby afghans and the dish towels with the crochet tops. So I thought Emma Grooms would do good. Alright, what's my next one? Planet Earth. <laughs> my next finished object there is actually four of them. And I think I, I can't remember if I mentioned these in the last video or I know it's on the Facebook group. But I made four of these little Planet Earths. Uh, little stuffies with arms. There's four of them. <laughs> uh, I think these are so cute. <laughs> they're kind of a pain in the butt to make just because it's like a graph, but um, I think they turned out really cute. But um, it is Planet Earth by Sarah Zimmerman, which is repeat crafter me. There's actually a couple of her patterns on here because she makes just the cutest stuff. But I made these because the event that I'm doing or helping do because it's not actually my booth, but she's going to put some of my stuff in it for me. Um, it's Earth Day. It's for Earth Day. It raises money for the Clean Water Project, I think is what it's called. So I thought these little earths might do good. Um, I wanted to, like ideally I wanted to make a bunch of these, but when I was making these is when I got sick. So I did finish four, and I don't know, I might make more, but I did run out of the blue. I have since bought more, but that's for my Christmas blanket cow. So I need to keep it and not use it. This is Sarah Zimmerman pattern. Super easy. It's made like a... Um, a rag doll. You make two panels and sew them together and stuff it and then just got little arms and legs. Uh, it's a free pattern. <laughs> I did make this with a elf hook also and it's Red Heart Super Saver Delft Blue and Spring Green and this is just a little bit of black scrap that I separated to make it thinner like embroidery floss to do the mouth with. And these mouths are a pain in the butt. I hate um, embroidering or whatever. Mouths. Mouths? I don't know if I said that word. Alright, this my next whip, I have to pop up a picture of it because I don't have it anymore. I made it for my sister. Her son, my nephew, lost his first tooth and it's one of these bottom front, front teeth. Um, so, and they're doing the tooth fairy. So she wanted me to make a tooth fairy pillow, which I'll pop up, which is also a Sarah Zimmerman pattern and it's free. Uh, I made it with a G hook. The pattern called for H hook and I started it with an H hook, but I noticed it was real holy. I guess it was my tension or something. So I, I went down a hook size just to make it look, you know, to be tighter like this, you know, so stuff doesn't shut through it. But, um, and it's made with a Heart Super Saver white and felt. The little crown's made out of felt. And the little pocket on the back is made out of felt, which I just sewed on with uh, thread. What else? The ribbon is ribbon. I'm trying to remember what it looks like because I don't have it with me. I think it's just white and uh, embroidered face. But it was a real cute pattern. It's super fast. I made it. She messaged me on Messenger and asked. She sent me a picture of it, and I found that same pattern. Um, and it just happened to be repeat crafter me's. And I found it, and I made it like in that hour. And I sent her a picture of it, and <laughs> she liked it, and she since picked it up. But um, yeah, my next finished object is my marshmallow bunnies by Copper Scale Dragon. I think I showed a couple of these in the last video, but. I went ham <laughs> after being sick to finish it because I wanted to have my my rabbit head and my bunny uh, what are they called? garland hanging up for Easter because between St. Patrick's Day and Easter is only a couple of weeks so 
And then after Easter, I have no idea where I'm going to hang up. i got to get some springy stuff. I may actually leave the Easter stuff up for a little while just because, you know, bunnies are springy. Make some kind of flowery things. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, anyways, it's, I'll pop up a picture because I already have it hanging up over there in my wall. Maybe you can see it right there. Right there. Ooh, super cute. I did, um, change the pattern a little bit. I added the pom-pom tails instead of a face because I wanted it to look like their little butts. And, um, it's with an e-hook and I made it with scraps of Red Heart Super Saver. It's not pale yellow, but it's one of the lighter yellows. And Red Heart Super Saver Pink, which I think is petal pink. And then I used all of this yarn in three colors. The green, blue, and purple are Red Hearts, or all of this yarn. But I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> but they were just scrap balls that I have. And, um, the white is Red Heart Super Saver White. And I didn't do anything fancy with the, the cord hanging them up. I just, it's just literally a piece of yarn that I threaded through their ears and uh, tied in knots. Because I was going to do a chain, but then I couldn't figure out how to attach it without it showing through their ears. So I just threaded it through their ears. But, yeah. I'm going to have to check real fast if Devin messaged me. Hold on a second. Okay, I messaged Devin. <laughs> Love my little herbs. They're so cute. I may have to make me one just to keep. Jesse liked them a lot too. He played with them before I put their arms and legs on there. He was carrying them around. I got some pictures. I might insert a couple. Alright, my last finished objects. Because there's five of them that I have done and I'm planning on making more. I have enough little eyes to make four more plus the one that I'm working on. So there'll be ten all together, I think. But they are the little octopuses, octopi, whatever you want to say. Technically, octopuses is the, the one of the right ways. You could say octopuses are octopi, but some people find octopuses awkward to say because of another word. <laughs> but um, I, I don't find it awkward because I mean, I'm a grown person. <laughs> so I don't giggle at words that sound like other words sometimes. <laughs> but I just made some of the little octopuses. This is the same green that my bunnies is made with. It's a, I love this yarn. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. This is kind of blown out because of the lot, but it's just a little green octopi. Octopus, whatever. And then I made this one. Woo! <laughs> this is Red Heart Super Saver uh, Glow Worm. It's like a fluorescent green. That's why it's blowing out like crazy. It looks yellow, but it's, it's green. I promise. And then I made this darker green. I was trying to make greenish, you know, like boyish colors, and then I'm going to make some girly colors. This is just like a dark green. This is Red Heart Super Saver, but I can't remember what the green is called. It's just like a dark green. And then this one turned out tiny. I don't know why this one turned out so small. I think I didn't increase the head enough. But, um, this is all of this yarn. Something to do with fire. I can't remember. Something ridge or something like that. I don't remember. I made a hat out of it, and it was just a scrap ball. I've got a few scrap balls of this, but I thought it was cute. And then this is the last one I've finished. And it is, uh, I love this yarn, something else. I don't know. It's an I love this yarn color. But I do, I want to make some, uh, pinks. I'm working on a red one right now. I'll show you in whips. I want to make some pinks and like a purple one. Just a bunch of different color ones. And maybe some more multicolored ones. Um, you know, in case there's any little kids who want their favorite color. Yeah, I made five of those. I think these are super quick. I already have the pattern in my brain. I understand now why so many crocheters make these because they're super fast. And this was the first one I made, so his eyes are close together. And then I started spacing them a little bit further apart. But uh, he turned out way smaller than the other ones. I think I didn't increase his head enough or something. And also the Red Heart Super Saver ones turn out bigger because it's a heavier. I mean, they're both... Uh, weight, uh, four weights, but, uh, Red Heart Super Saver is thicker, so. So the Red Heart Super Saver ones are bigger than the, um, I love the shine ones, but they don't matter. They're all cute. So that's all the stuff that I have finished, um, I think. <laughs> I technically, I did finish the rabbit because I did, um, put felt behind his ears to make them stiffer and hot glued more felt to make, like, a hole for the, um, Dow to go through and then I hung him up. I think he's so cute. And Jesse loves him. He noticed him instantly as soon as he came home that day. Because I think the dad fixed it and hung it up. He was at my mom's. Um, or napping or something. I can't remember. He, was, he wasn't in the room. And Kat, the little girl babysit, she likes it a lot. She said, are you going to keep that and use that every year? 
And I said, yeah, probably. She said, oh, because if you weren't, you could sell it at that Earth Day thing. <laughs> I just thought that was cute. But um, that's all my finished objects. Let me check on Jesse. He's still laying there. I got the window open while the blind, so the light will come in and I keep seeing cars at the high school behind us moving. That's why it gets my attention. <laughs> Alright, whips is, I will start with the octopus because I did start this one yesterday. I think I finished, no, I almost finished its head. I just got to stuff it and close it. It's a really, it's a uh, red heart super saver, hot red or red hot. It's blowing out, but it is a really red color. So I just got to finish his head and, um... He do his tentacles and this it's an f hook i didn't even say that did i the pattern is by sarah hearn it's a free pattern and it, i made it with f hook I, I think it the pattern calls for a smaller one but i'm planning on making um one this color i thought about making one this color but i don't know how it's going to come out this is a premiere yarn that i got at michael's forever ago the first time i ever went to michael's and it's real rough so i don't really like it <laughs> so i'm just using it on random Amigurumi's his bow ties made out of it. This is a Red Heart Super Saver uh, neon lights. This was the first set of stripes before they came out with the, like the whole line of stripes. And then I got this purple color. And I need one more ball, and I'll probably make like a pink one. Cause I want some girly colors and boy colors. I do have some bigger safety eyes, so I might make uh, slightly bigger ones with bigger eyeballs. Oh. Uh, that's living in my Halloween candy bag. I use this bag a lot because when I used it, you know, after I got done with it, I folded it up and put it on top of my bag. So I'm, every time I need a new bag, I just grab the top one. And it's mostly this one. It's not like my favorite bag, although it's cute, but it just happens to be on top every time. Alright, I finished this bag. I can't remember if it was finished last time. All it needed was a ribbon. And then it is my next, uh, whip. I started this the day I got sick. Actually, the video that I, uh, my last crochet and talk, number two, you know, uh, this is what I was working on. And it hasn't been touched since that day because I got sick. And it's just the start of the, um, Ruffle Sleeve Cardigan. It's a free pattern that was going around Facebook, uh, by Ashley Kaiser Crochet. It's a free pattern. There is that. It's made with a J hook, and I'm using I Love This Yarn. Here it's called Sun Gold. Uh, this is an acquisition. I bought six of these that day to make this with, but I already got it put in my stash. I only kept one ball out since I only can only work for one at a time. But um, this, I was working on it in that last video, and then that's when I got sick, so I haven't touched it since then. But I do plan on working on it here and there. Maybe I'll get it done before next uh, fall when I can actually wear it. Alright, my last whip that I'm actually working on, because like I said, I do need to work on that square for Terry's cow. And uh, I haven't been working on my mystery project at all. I don't even know if I'm going to finish it before the fair. Uh, I just haven't had to ump for it. This next one, I already got to know a bunch of pieces. This is Miss Super Snappy by Heidi Ace. It is a pay for pattern, but um, she always has coupon codes and stuff. Alright, last time I had, I think, half of her body done. The, the half with hair. And then I finished the rest of her body. So, you know, it's done like a red doll, so it really folded and sewn together. And then uh, her arms and stuff will be sewed on there. And I got her arms done, which look kind of awkward. <laughs> but these are her hands, so it'll be... Ugh. <laughs> They'll be attached like, oh, that's her head. Somewhere around there. I don't know. Wherever her body is, it'll be attached there. Like, this is her face over here. Like that. <laughs> Can't even see it, but I tried. Stuff this back in the bag. And then I started yesterday on her feet. <laughs> this is one of the soles of her shoes. And, um,. So I gotta make her legs and then her clothes are pretty much all that's left is and it's actually a little like a little sweater pattern doing her face just little things like that I think the legs are the next big part other than you know the sweater but it's, it looks so super simple and this is a red heart super saver I'm not exactly sure I think it's cafe latte or something like that 
This is, I love this yarn, Light Peach, and this is Red Heart Super Saver Amethyst. In there. And then her shoes and her sweater will be made with this color, which is Red Heart Super Saver Orchid. Orchid? Orchid? That's how you say it, right? And this color, I can't remember what it's called. It's Red Heart Super Saver something. I can't remember. I just recently got this. One of my recent acquisitions was this pink color. Got that joins or somewhere. I can't even remember. <laughs> but, um, made with an H hook. I did get, oh, that's another acquisition. I did get some more hooks, but it's just, um, I was at Hobby Lobby and I wasn't there to buy yarn or anything. I was actually looking at paper craft stuff. And I had, everything I bought was on clearance except, and then I had that 40% off coupon I didn't want to waste. So I did use it to get the six piece set of Susan Boy Susan Boy <laughs> Susan Bates hooks that are ten ninety nine. It was um F through J F G H R J K F through J or K. I can't even talk. There were six of them. Um so I used the forty percent off coupon and it came to like six something which made the hooks a dollar something. A <laughs> dollar sixty something I can't remember. I did the math that day. Then it was cheaper because I was just going to buy an F and a G. No, a G and an H by themselves. And they were $2.99 each. So it made them cheaper to buy them in the set and um, use the coupon. If that makes any sense. <laughs> and uh, I always like getting more F hooks because I use them on a lot of my projects. So it's good to have a bunch so I don't have to keep, you know, grabbing a hook out of a bag. Does that make any sense? <laughs> I think that makes sense. Though. Yeah, that's all my whips and all my finished objects. I just love these little earths. I think they're so cute. The first one I made is this one. I didn't stuff him enough. He's still kind of octagon shaped. You're supposed to stuff them enough that they kind of round out. <laughs> but uh, I learned that after that first one and I was able to make the other ones look better. But they're all cute. And the little octopuses are so cute. But yeah, that's all my whips and all my finished objects. I'm wanting to finish Super Snappy. Like, I'm going to work on her today. Here in a few minutes when I get done filming, I'm planning on working on her. And then tomorrow when Jesse's gone, or Saturday, whenever they get him, I want to put on the Snowman Square from the from Terry at the Yarn Journal Podcast. Well, I can talk. Crochet along. I want to get it going and started because I don't want to get behind on that. I want to finish it in March, and then next week when April starts, it'll be, you know, I'll be able to do the next square, which I think is the sleigh. The sled, the sleigh, whatever it's called. <laughs> I want to finish with Super Snappy, yeah. And then I want to start working on more stuff for the, the craft fair. I want to finish the octopuses, and I want to make a couple more of these. And a couple more of these and then I found a little mermaid pattern that I might try to make a few of those I just want to make some more little things to try to sell and um, I have a couple of things that's older stuff older amigurumis that are in my bedroom that uh, I will be sending also to try to sell so that's my plan is to finish uh, Miss Super Snappy get her done and in my fair box so that I can finish up the craft fair stuff <laughs> She goes in the county fair box. They go in the craft fair box. And then I will go from there. I do need to dig out or figure out what square I want to work on in the grease cow and start working on it. But um, I still haven't even woven in the ends to the well, last one I finished. It's still in my box. I gotta weave in the ends to that one day while watching TV or something. And uh, I think I decided that I am going to make every square and just make the giant blanket and just take my time. Like Even if it takes me the rest of this year and half of next year, I can go ahead and make all the squares. It can just be like my background project, you know. And um, get it done. But after I finish Miss Super Snappy, i got to find another project to make for the county fair. I have a list of stuff already that I kind of want to make on my laptop. I just have to go through and figure out like... Um, booties and uh, baby sweaters and stuff like that i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make all the categories because i mean it's already almost april and i've only <laughs> made a few things but um i'm just gonna keep working from now until the last week of august to get stuff ready to enter into the fair and enter what i can make and go from there um i love entering stuff into the fair if you haven't done that you should totally check it out and uh try doing it because it's a lot of fun to try to win 
and to get ruined, you know, and to be recognized for what you did. But it's also fun just to see your stuff up there and have people looking at it and ooing and on over it. And it's also fun to see what other people enter. Um, there's not a lot of crochet or even knitted stuff in our fair. I think last year it was literally me and another girl that I have since kind of met, like, online. Um, I found her in a group or something. Her name's Jennifer. She entered some knitting stuff. And I entered crochet stuff, and that was pretty much it. Most of it is, like, uh, hand-sewn and stuff like that. People enter. And cross-stitch is pretty, like, big. But mostly in our fair, just our location and the people who do it is uh, sewers. Which is cool. But, um, well, there were a lot of afghans. It's like some people just enter afghans, but nothing else. But me and Jennifer, we entered a bunch of other stuff. And uh, I think that's kind of why I won a lot of the categories. Because most of it, like, the reefs were um, that reefy meshy material people make reefs out of or just like wood flowery reefs and then there were my crochet ones and I think that's why I won a lot of the categories like that because I'm, I was the only like that kind of craft that was in it everybody else did the traditional styles of those crafts and I did like a different version of it so uh, but now with that being said <laughs> there's some other local people that I've met through YouTube and on my Facebook group that are local to me that they might start entering stuff too, but that's cool because I think it'd be cool to see a bunch of crochet stuff up there than to see it get more popular or whatever there. And when people see your stuff there, it might make them want to learn it because like in our fair separates the grown-ups from the kids stuff and in the kids building there's some crochet stuff and all that and it's just neat to see that kids are doing that and hopefully they will continue doing that, you know. Um, I don't know if Jesse will ever be interested in crocheting. <laughs> But if he ever wants to learn, I will definitely try to teach him. I don't know if I'm a very good teacher at that, but uh, I will try and um, support him in it. But I'm pretty sure he's going to go the music way because he's already so into music stuff, like his dad and grandpa, that it's crazy. But that's fine, too. I don't care what he does as long as he's happy and doesn't break laws and stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was totally random side notes. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to think of stuff because I feel like I haven't filmed him forever burping I'm sorry um I'm good doing anything just I will be doing the giveaway I didn't mention that and I will be making more crochet talks videos because I really like that I thought that was a lot of fun I like sitting there and just crocheting and talking like I'm talking to a friend and um I like the comments and stuff and all that and I've got I I made a little video asking about like ideas of what to talk about and I got a whole bunch of them and I'm gonna go through there and like write them all down and start doing them like, I might write them all down and, like, put them in a, a container and draw them out and just, like, randomly start talking about whatever that subject is. There's a lot of good ones. So, I will definitely be doing that. I think that would be cool. Idea. And I'm going to try to film probably a couple of those this weekend. I may not put them out as soon as I film them because I need some videos in case I get sick again. But I will try to film some while Jesse's sleeping or not here. It's a nice day today. I might end up taking him outside to play. But, um... That was totally random. Yesterday it snowed here. That's why I said that. Yesterday it snowed and schools were closed. I had cat. And then today it's like, I mean, you can tell it's like bright and sunny and beautiful spring day. <laughs> Just, I know a lot of states is weird like that. And Tennessee is one of them that's notorious for every type of weather in a, a two-day period. And um, I think it's, you know, it's like beautiful today and then it's supposed to rain all weekend, which stinks. Because <laughs> that's when we're able to get out and do stuff. But, uh, yeah. We've, I've been taking him outside to play more and we're, we're actually going to do some do-it-yourself things on the back porch here because our back porch is just like a slab of concrete and the roof to it is the person above us porch and it's not waterproof you know it's just boards so when it rains it comes through so we're thinking about getting a canopy to put on the back porch to make it kind of so like if it's sprinkling I can still sit out there with Jess we're going to make a little fence on the porch to keep the other kids off because there's a lot of neighbor kids who have no boundaries. They just like, like some of them almost walked up in our house one day. And there's just like, no boundaries. But, um, and I want to get him, we're going to get him a sand turtle to put out there so he, we can put sand and rocks in it for him to play with his trucks and stuff. And I want to put some potted plants out there, some mosquito plants for sure. And like a chair, a big comfy chair that I could sit in and crochet while he's playing and stuff like that. We just want to like make it more usable instead of right now it's just sitting there not being used and um yeah that was totally random too <laughs> i had something in my brain like two seconds ago that i was gonna say and then i forgot it 
can't remember. <laughs> that never happened. Jesse's um, <coughs> lullaby thing just turned off. I don't know if you could hear it in the background, but it just stopped. That means it's been on for 45 minutes. So he's probably going to sleep for a little while longer. What time is it? It's in my head. Yeah, it's almost 1 or 2. I said 1. It's after 2. It's like 5 after 2. It's hard to read backwards. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll hop off here already since I have nothing important to talk about and edit this and get it uploading and crochet a little bit before he wakes up. And, oh, I made some stitch markers. I forgot to get those. They're in the bedroom. I got to figure out what the clear stuff is to put on it to make it shiny and, um, seal it because I made some cute little stitch markers that I got. I still got to paint their eyeballs and I still got to do it to my old ones too. And I did make another bag, but I'm going to not show it because it's for... A person I'm doing a swap with and they watch my videos so I don't want to surprise or ruin the surprise before it gets to them uh, but it's cute and I'll, I guess I'll take a picture of it and show it after they receive it uh, which I gotta get that out soon because <laughs> I was supposed to have it out a while ago but uh, you know the sickness and all that and um, yeah I know there was something I was gonna tell y'all but I can't remember if I remember I'll make it another video it's that simple but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because i'm just rambling at this point um all my links are below as usual all the pattern links will be below and my instagram my ravelry page my ravelry group and my facebook group will be below the facebook group is most active and there's 140 ish people in there right now and once i get to 200 i will begin doing another pattern giveaway i might pick two people i might start picking two people or something i don't know just make it more fun uh, it's been growing pretty steadily, which is pretty cool to see that. And I love how easy it is to communicate with people on there. It's a lot easier than, like, a Ravelry because you can't get notifications on Ravelry if someone messages you or, I mean, you get them in your email, but it's not like an instant thing or comments back or something. So I like that about the Facebook group. So if you're not a member of that, go join it. <laughs> and, and every hundred people, I'm going to give patterns away. I might start doing other little giveaways, not just patterns, but, like, random yarn skeins and hooks because I love hooks especially the polymer clay hooks but um yeah and I will be getting my giveaway video out soon and hopefully this weekend a crochet and talk video with a random randomly selected topic hopefully it's not one of the weird ones um but if you have any other like comments or topics just leave them below and I'll put it in my jar <laughs> I've yet to make it but I will make it I'll make it before I make the next video and <laughs> because um, I think that'd be fun to like randomly draw and just have to talk about a subject like right off the top of my head instead of having time to think about it um i think that'd be fun but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here so i hope you guys all have a good rest of the weekend because it's friday for y'all <laughs> it's thursday for me and um yeah i'll see you in a couple days hopefully in another video and leave me comments and likes and all that stuff and i'll see you next time my endings are always kind of awkward but that's okay bye you get your bucket on your head? You silly. You're so silly. <gasps> Good job. Yeah.